A Bryant, Alabama native who crashed his plane in Venezuela two weeks ago is now the object of a major search. Bob Norton is a missionary pilot for Adventist Medical Aviation. Now, thanks to the latest technologies, a group of friends are helping look for Norton and five others without even leaving the United States. I want to invite you to come along with me. By all accounts, Bob Norton was born to fly. See what a day of flying with Ama is like. Eight years ago, his passion landed him here in the mission fields of Venezuela. That's where Norton flies sick and injured natives to and from medical facilities. She had been bitten on the foot while playing along the river with her friends. He's always looking out for other people, always taking care of other people, and that's just who he is. Bob Edwards, the pilot's friend of 15 years, says now Norton is the one who needs help. On a routine flight two weeks ago, Norton's plane crashed into the dense Venezuelan jungle. On board were Norton's wife, two sick children, and their mothers. It didn't make sense for us to go down there. We don't know the language. We don't know the lay of the land. We don't have any resources down there. So Edwards and a group of six other friends from across the country decided to use a technique not unlike the one used to search for missing famed adventurer Steve Fawcett. It's called satellite imaging. We know where he started in Karum and he was going to Bethel. Without even leaving the states, the group made international calls over the internet using Skype to coordinate their search with Venezuelan locals. They have narrowed down a 16 mile long and one mile wide area. And for a price, the company that works with Google Earth, GOI, said it would print off satellite images of the selected spot. So that means something that's about a half meter long, we should be able to detect looking down with the satellite image. So if you're flying over that, you can literally fly over somebody waving at you and miss them because you, you, your eyes can only focus so fast as you're looking across. Edwards says it's amazing to see all the technologies work together and he is optimistic about finding Norton and the others. If we find him and they're alive, then we're dancing in the streets, right? If we find him and he didn't survive, then there's closure. It's up and down the hill with a nice run to take off, plenty of room to get off and over the trees. If you would like to help contribute to the search efforts, you can do so by logging on to our website, WDL.com, and learn how.